Ladies and gentlemen, now the ceremonial presentation of tonight's letters. By the way, actual letters from actual viewers. And who knows, perhaps tonight we could be reading one of yours. <laughs> <I don't think so. laughs> 260 million people in America, we're reading four letters. <laughs> you do the math, Einstein. <laughs> And now the ceremonial presentation of tonight's letters. And by the way, the ceremonial presentation of the letters was mentioned the other night in the uh, State of the Union address by President Clinton. He mentioned it? As being one of the last significant, uh, m meaningful ceremonies that uh, kids, young and old alike, look up to. Darn right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Cer huh? Darn right. Yeah. Ceremonial presentation. Letter number one. Letter number one. All right. Letter <laughs> number one. All right. Dear Dave, did you watch the O.J. Civil Verdict the other night? Uh, your pa, uh, Ben uh, Workman, uh, Lansing, Michigan. Uh, well, yeah, like everybody, I guess I was watching it. And I, you know, I thought one of the really interesting things about it afterward, after they announced the decision, O.J. gets in his car and he, on his way home he stops at uh, Baskin Robbins and he picks up some of that uh, pint of that, uh, you know, Rocky Alibi or whatever he picked up. <laughs> but more... <laughs> More interesting than that, the kid, look how everybody's trying to cash in on the, the kid who sold O.J. the cone, look at this, already Has got a book, book out. Take a look at that. <laughs> Double Scoop of Murder by Bob Cooper. Man, the most powerful. Right. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Paul, this time, don't make me sound quite so fruity. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, you know I'm I mean? sorry, I didn't. Uh, letter was... number two. Oh, real with that, but not so fruity. <laughs> so uh, letter number two. Oh, so oh, uh, comedy from around the world. Number two. All right, keep going. <laughs> Fine, thanks. Uh, dear Dave, uh, letter number two begins, I'm drunk right now. Are you? Well, no. no. <laughs> Sincerely, uh, Jim Sanzato in a drunken state, St. Uh, Joseph, Missouri. Uh, let me tell you something, in all honesty, I used to drink. Man, did I used to drink. I loved uh, drinking, I loved everything about it. I quit. I had to quit because I had a little too much to drink, you know what I'm saying? So I quit. I gave it up and I haven't had a drink in like 15, 16 years. But what a coincidence. Uh, tonight, we're introducing a brand new product. It's called Uncle Dave's Non-Alcoholic Gin. Look at that. <laughs> You know, why can't somebody come up with a drink that has all the taste of gin, but without the alcohol? Hey, Paul, why not try some of this? Uncle Dave's non-alcoholic gin. Mmm! Wow! Great gin taste! Yes, it's Uncle Dave's non-alcoholic gin. For all those times in life when you want the great taste of gin, but don't want to get fried, ask for it by me. You are one clever son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Uncle Dave's non-alcoholic gin. Available whatever fine spirits are sold. That's comedy. <clears throat> right there, that's comedy, bro. Well, I'd, like like I'd like to see the Russian do something like that. <laughs> that's real comedy, ain't it? <clears throat> okay, now here we go. Letter number three. Okay, now here we go. Letter number three. <laughs> okay, now here we go. Letter number three. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dave, sometimes one of your arms seems longer than the other. What gives Charles outs? <laughs> South Carolina. Well, I think, I think, Charles, your eyes are fooling you because my arms are pretty much actually the same length. You know, our show is full of little visual tricks like this, which is why tonight we're debuting a brand new segment entitled Late Show Optical Illusions. On a recent episode, Dave appears to be providing some kind of entertainment. But a quick shot of the audience reveals that no entertainment is taking place whatsoever. It's just another one of those amazing late show optical illusions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Letter number four. Okay. Letter number four. Here we go. Hammer in your pants <laughs> and drive me home. Letter number four. Here we go. Letter number four. Come on, we got it. Now. We got it. Letter number four. We have a winner. No more calls, please. Letter number four. Dear Dave, I just wanted to write and say that you and the entire Late Show gang are awesome. Sincerely, Randall LeBishop, uh, Eugene, Oregon. This is a very, very nice letter, and it means a great deal to us. And thank you very much, Randall. But you know, 
We really only deserve a very small amount of the credit. The real credit goes to the long list of fine actors who have played the parts of uh, Biff Henderson, one of our stage managers, Paul Schaefer, of course, and Dave Letterman here on The Late Show. In fact, we've invited those talented performers to join us here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two actors who have played our stage manager, Biff Henderson, over the years, Eric McDermott and Tony Wales. Boys, come on in. They're there. Nice job, folks. Thank you very much. It's a great job. And now, now, a nice welcome to the three actors who have played the part of Paul Schaefer over the years, Mark Vanacor and Wally Campbell. You've done a great job. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. This is, I want to tell you. What happened? This is the very best rehearsal we've ever had. <laughs> Leonard, get out of here. Leonard, you ain't out yet. Get out. <laughs> he ain't out here, is he? Uh-huh. And a boy. A little nutty lot. Yeah. It's that a little added comedy. you've been here at 3 o'clock this afternoon? <laughs> Read a memo. Added comedy, yeah. that's all. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to the three actors who preceded me in the role of Dave Letterman, Larry Matheson, Mitch Semmel, and Tony Randall. Kids, come on out and take them out. Biff, thank you very much. Biff, great job. Paul, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Paul, thank you. Dave, nice to see you. Great job, Dave. Thank you very much. Dave, always a pleasure. My best to your wife. Let's close up. CBS Mailbag.